What's up guys? Morning, morning, morning. Almost afternoon. Steve, Jeremiah, Ta John, Edward, Big Grizz, Tegan. What's up guys? How are we doing? Hope everybody's having a fantastic Tuesday afternoon or er, morning so far. <clears throat> hey Landon, injections, Ty, Eli, what's going on? First time I'm able to catch a live for a little. Let's go, Eli. Good to hear, man. Good to hear. So we're on the farm here up in Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. We're doing a start in spring. So we're in seeding season, drilling season. What do you want to call it? We're going to go fill up with some seed and fertilizer so we can get these drills filled. Ideally, we would make our own seed and put it in some of these bins, but obviously we didn't start in, uh... We didn't start in, uh in the fall to do some harvest, so here we are. Hey, Graham, thank you, buddy. Thank you for the five gifted. That's very kind of you. Enjoy Edward Ty, FS Farmer C, Rev, and Aaron Jenkins. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Graham. You the man. Yeah, definitely hit the like button if you're here. Thanks for the reminder, Landon. What is up, Midwest? How you doing, buddy? Good to see ya. Gotta catch up on your videos from over the weekend. Saw uh, ya. Saw ya drop two of them. I gotta get, uh... I gotta get caught up. Trying on a new camera angle here where we're more straight on. So I'm not, like, looking away from you guys the whole time while I'm playing. How's everybody's week going? It feels like it's been forever since I've streamed. Honestly, can't even pinpoint the day of when I actually did stream last. Sometime last week, obviously, but I just don't remember what day it was. So, if you guys weren't aware, Edgewater had a big ol' update. So, that's why we're gonna give it a go. I feel like it's an, it's an update that was very needed for this map for it, it's got he added swathing to it he added like the crops from edgewater to it really good update i was really hoping that was seed so i'm happy that actually ended up being seed <laughs> hey john yeah i was wondering if you'd stop by we got something we got something that actually catches your interest <laughs> 
Yeah, it's a good update. It's a bunch of stuff that I really wanted to see out of this map, so... Evergreen. Sorry, did I say Edgewater? Sorry, Evergreen, yes. Evergreen. It is public, yeah. It's on Northwest Mods and Edits fate or itch page. Or on their Facebook you can find it too, I, I believe. So we're just going to run Seed right now. And this puppy. Maybe we'll do another one with fertilizer. I don't know. Maybe we won't even... Put, yeah, well, we'll probably put some fertilizer down. You gotta put some fertilizer down, right? You got the big old air drills. Yeah, I changed up the farm a little bit. I added uh, TPF shop in there. Um, I added TPF's big old cold storage building. Not that I don't like the ones that uh, are already on the map by uh, Jonathan Dubois. But, uh, I don't know, I just figured switch it up a little bit. So The PDA is this. It's just a massive, it's just massive fields. There's five just massive, massive fields. Which I actually had them divided up a little bit. So I did divide them up here. I've added a break right there. And then up here. So I split this field into three before. And then I split this one into three. Or no, just two. I think I added a small I like a small break there in that one. And then I kept the rest. Just so I could plant different crops around. Just some more different crops. Um which I think we'll still do, but my save it wouldn't save. I think I had some sort of mod conflict. So I had to, I did a bunch of work on this and then it didn't save. So then I just lost it all. So I had to reset it up. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, injections. That's what I'm thinking. We'll grab another truck. We are using all of the uh, trucks in the map, or yeah, that uh, the map creator has created himself, Jonathan Dubois, 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 however you want to say it. Dubois sounds fancy. Yeah, no worries. I figured I figured you were leaving soon, so no worries. Have a safe trip. Let me know when you get there. Hey, Fluffball, how are ya? Good morning, good morning. Good to see ya. Yeah, we're using these trucks because they're fantastic. So we got this one, we got the Kenworth that he made, and then he has a Mac Anthem edit that he has, and we are using that one as well. But actually, we're not even... I don't even think we're actually into planting season yet, guys, by the way. Did I miss something? Hey, Ty, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Ty. Happy you said something, Edward. I missed that one. Happy birthday. Thanks for being here and celebrating with us. So yeah, actually, we got to do some heavy heroine quick. I think we're going to run the heavy hero for a little bit here. In the uh, old canola stubble. Knock down this canola stubble a little bit. I believe TPF told me that uh, they, they do that. I'm just going off of what TPF says. He's my uh, go-to for Canadian farming information. So when we do lime, I think we're going to just load lime in the back of a big old end dump. And then we're going to dump it on the field and then we'll load it with the big old front loader there. But as you see, we have a we have quite a mix of colors. We got some, we got some color mixes going on. We got green combines. We got a 9RX and a Fent 167 or 1167, I think is what it is, right? That run the drills. And then we got this old, old girl. It's going to run the fertilizer spreader. 
Uh, I'm going to do some heavy heroing as well. Probably some rolling. Then we got three John Deere combines. So. Hey, Ethan, how are you doing? Uh, let's see. You on the New Zealand map, are you? No? Nice. Very cool. Man, I feel like I am underestimating these fields big time. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to need another heavy hero. Not old. Obviously not old. The map, this is what the map looks like, Jacob. It's one farm. You got your co-op up here. You got your, like, animal hay bale. Yeah, your bale cell point up here. You got, and then you got one your one cell point there. Uh, I think this is like a rock cell point or something. It's like a stone pile, but they're just huge fields. It's a standard, it's a standard map. They're just massive fields. You think I'm going to need more bins, John? Oh, geez. I, yeah, I have no idea what to expect. I'm not going to lie to you. Hey, Midwest with the... With the gifted fiver. Thank you, buddy. Enjoy those memberships. No, Benny, Caleb, Kansas boy, and Mojo Jojo. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it's just massive fields. That's why we got air drills. We got two air drills. We got three combines. Yeah, yeah. So if you like your big farming, this is a map for you. I've been, I've always been wanting to get on here. The update just got me. It's a, just a real good update. What's everybody up to today? Me this morning, I had a uh, meeting with a potential client uh, for older, very, very kind ladies that want me to do their uh, catering for their alumni association banquet in the local high schools around here. That's cool. Can't stay long, rain's coming. Hey, no worries, buddy. No worries. So this heavy hero is set up as a disc. There's one that you can use as a mulcher or one as a disc. I'm gonna like try them and see which one I actually wanna use. Virtual day for you, very nice. Take care of your mom, there you go. Graham, you're a good son, Graham. They take care of us when we're little, and we take care of them when we're old. That's how it works, right? All right, all right, Junt. <laughs> I gotta get, I gotta get the lingo right. You're right. I gotta get the lingo right. We're drilling. Yes, TPF is a fantastic source of information. Seven mile an hour. Oh boy. Here we go. I feel like we need to get another one of these. Especially at seven mile an hour. I just want to see how long this is going to take us to go one pass. So buckle up, buttercups. It's going to be a long ride. So we started what? Let's say we started like 30 seconds ago. At 15, 
15 even, we'll say we started, so we're gonna get kind of a skewed number, but we're gonna kind of base it. Day off work and chilling out. There we go, Landon. That's what I'd like to hear, my man. Well, I appreciate you hanging out here, man. Very much appreciate that. She has dementia. Ah, I'm sorry, Graham. That is tough. I hope you... I hope you guys are hanging in there. That is a very, very difficult one to deal with, buddy. So my heart goes to you. We'll be thinking about you. What size quad track? I think we have a 580. That's yeah, a 580. We're running a... For combines, we're running a 20... 17 it's like a range between 2017 and 2022 uh s780 we're running a s680 which is like 2015 and then we're running a 980 or 9870 sts if i have a case of snickers i know this one look at this field guys we're only like a quarter way through. Probably a little bit more than a quarter, but that's, isn't that wild? Just huge. <laughs> Just massive. I would like to maybe set this up on the uh, community server at some point and do uh, some multiplayer. Maybe around when we get like harvest time or I don't know. I think it'd just be fun to run with some guys on here. This is like a perfect multiplayer map. So yeah, we changed out the bins a little bit. We took out the like three bay shop that's here usually and we put up TPFs. Kept this. It's like our sprayer shed. Our sprayer's in here. We have a deer sprayer. Uh, fertilizer and herbicide tanks. Moved the bins a little bit. We have three bins. We have three West Steels. We have uh, a few Meridians there. And some like other ones. Some, yeah. But this map is cool because you have the, the crop dust here that flies around as well. It's pretty slick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that as well, Edward. That's tough, man. Hope you're hanging in there, buddy. Always tough losing a family member. Buckled in, boss. Good deal, Fender. How you doing, buddy? Watched your uh, farm build video the other day on uh, Stone Valley. Very nice. Very nice. Do and Baker, what's going on, brother? How's Do and today? Very nice, no. Some very nice machines, my friend. Very nice machines. The drifter from the hours. Good afternoon. Officially afternoon for us here. Anybody west of me, probably, uh, or, oh, it's not probably, it is still morning. So, morning, afternoon to you. deal happy to hear it fender oh yeah she's a she's a chore here huh how many passes do we think we'd do one two five ten fifteen I bet it'd be about 22 passes up down passes would be my guess Oh, 
We're not gonna just sit here and do this all, all stream. I promise, I promise. That'd be pretty miserable. Do some drilling, probably at some point. I think we're gonna do some spraying. We gotta spray our wheat and fertilizer. I set this field up uh, as like wheat, so we're gonna we're gonna play that we planted the wheat uh, in the fall last year. So we do have that wheat to look forward to uh, combine in here at some point. Ooh. Hey. Thank you, Duane. Appreciate that, buddy. Rejoined for two months in a row. What a man. Thank you. You put lime? I can put lime on the field, yes. Probably should have limed this before we uh, harrowed it, to be honest with you. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should do some liming. I actually did plan on doing that. That's probably why I had it hooked up to the lime spreader. We gotta buy the field info. How much do you guys think this is gonna cost us? $281,000 for the field info. Holy, 342,000. That's insane. That's nuts. Hey, thanks for the gifted, Duane. Appreciate that. Enjoy it, Greg. You're now an exclusive member of Simulation Station Nation. Welcome in. Hey, Doug. Good morning. We catching you as you're waking up right now? I hope not. Be slacking today, Doug. Don't be slacking on me. You're probably up and at him and at work already. I have a hard time thinking that may, that you'd make a turn like that with a big ol' hair out like this. Real hard time. But would you lift it up? I've just never harrowed, so I have no idea. I don't think I've ever seen anybody harrow before. You guys think we should go lime? I feel like we should. I really feel like we need to go line this first. Done a week's worth of work. That see that I knew you. I knew it, Doug. And I, I knew you'd been busy at it already. A week's worth of work already. It's funny. All right, yeah, we got to spread some lime first. I'd like to get some drilling, but maybe we'll lime a field and then we'll drill. Also, if we get sick of uh, uh, spread lime the way that I'm thinking that we're going to do it, we can always just... I have this trailer that I want to use. This one from uh, Smebby's Patreon. It's like the hopper bottom one, Timpty one. It's pretty slick. That I kind of want to use, so we might give that a go. Johnson C.
Yeah, we, uh, I want, I was thinking, or I had the itch for Canadian farm. I always have the itch to farm, you know, up here in Canada. Um, and we were having fun, you know, on the Edgewater edit by Mado, but then, uh, it turns out Mado's just a big old mod leaker, so <laughs> we're not going to do that. Dude's just leaking, leaking mods everywhere. So we deleted the, that, that, uh, map real quick. Not going to support that. So yeah, that was a good feel for uh, the field sizes. That was uh, that was a that was a big one. We're probably gonna cheat in a little money here so we can get uh, information. On, uh, yeah, I'm going. I'm definitely gonna get another hero jet. I just wanted to see what the. I wanted to get an actual feel for those fields, and they're big. <laughs> it's it's a big one. India's telephone in the house. Uh, oh, Doug. Alright. Listen, I, we're just setting up the field. Just setting up the field. Or, er, not field, farm. Here. What do we have like 145 grand or something? There we go. Pleasant's not allowed to know. Pleasant can't know that. Midwest. He'll yell at me. Does look like a painting, doesn't it? I think I think we gotta use. I think we gotta use the the Kenworth. That thing is an absolute beauty. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh my goodness, he's here! Don't tell anybody what we just did. I didn't even know there was a lone oak. Didn't even know there was a lone oak. I don't know what the fuss is about lone oak. I just, I don't like lone oak that much, to be honest with you, so I don't really... I'm not, uh... A lone oak stan. Like a lot of people. Look at the interior of this truck. Look at the material on the, on the wheel. Isn't that so nice? It's crazy, man. There's some impressive stuff. Feel like that will take me a week IRL, I bet. Got the old Jake's on. You have problems with the beater belt? Oh you do? Hmm. I don't I haven't had any issues. Do you manually shift Midwest? I would love to get a manual shifter. Or a shifter so I could do some manual shifting.
He's a busy guy, Ethan. He's got a he's got a busy life outside of farm sim. Person name dropped MRG. Oh boy. See, MRG said he had nothing to do with it. So. I don't know. Yeah, no th no thanks, Duck. <laughs> no thanks. I think this is the line one. Kyle, no, not anymore, Ethan. He used to work for a farmer. Oh, dang it. Oh, okay, that is line. Why does it look like seed? Hey, I'm doing good, Caleb. Good to see you, man. Doing good. I think there's a built-in auto drive course in this. I thought there was. Never mind. There we go. Just had to change the texture quick. Yeah, I'm the one who told him about Lona. Who, MRG? It doesn't matter. We're not going to get into it. We're not going to get into it here. We're just here to hang out, have some fun, you know. Play some farming. I think we're gonna need a few uh, a few trailer loads of this. Actually. calling me. Yeah, Caleb, I'm excited for it, man. It looks awesome. This movie does some excellent work, so I am sure it's going to be a really good map. Well, we're, we're putting this old Kenworth to work right now. I think... John, it was because there was probably some seed in the uh, in the auger still before we because it was the same auger I used for the seed one. I think that was the issue. Yeah, we're gonna need to uh, maybe not fill this all the way up next time. That's a lot of lime. So that's a heavy load right there. This might, this might take a while, folks. Uh, it's on Smebby's Facebook, Jeremiah. You go to his play game button, it's on there. <laughs> 
see this is the stuff that happens on live streams that you can't uh you can't edit out you know if this was on a video we'd be ed editing this part this part out but you're here you're stuck with me you get to drive eight mile an hour back to the field with me lucky you guys Hey, listen, I'm trying. I'm just a farmer trying to do his thing, all right? No, no honking at me. Might have to set up camp over here. Come on, girl, you can do it. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Positive thoughts. Probably a good idea, actually, set up camp down here instead of all the way at the other end that's farther away from the lime spot. I think that's probably what we'll do. Look at the airplane just zooming around. Pretty sweet, isn't it? I I thought so, but I don't see it. Oh. But there's no like Is there any uh things? We'll just have to uh Let's see. So yeah, there's auto drive like on the roads, right? But we'll have to add our own. We'll have to add our own uh, like if things in the fields and stuff, right, John? Truck's not old. Truck's very new. <laughs> it's a very very new truck. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. We're gonna give it a go. We'll probably eventually end up. Uh, end up just using a tender trailer. Just kind of want to switch it up, do it a little bit different, right? We're gonna park this up right here for now. We're gonna switch over to this puppy. We'll drive it down to that end. We'll road it. I don't know why my hazard's not working. With my hazard button. I know I you know offender you gotta these guys gotta be uh they they they've obviously never farmed before you know offender always in a rush jeez people these days I'll tell you what I'm a friend of my boss and we have two trucks one Peter 397 and a Freightliner very nice no very nice I don't either. I don't use turn signals either, but I always put my hazards and flashers on. I just don't have any buttons mapped for uh, my flash or my blinkers. Else I probably would. Alma traffic in town is wild. Stone Valley, not one car uses turn signals. That was one thing I came. I, I honestly have never noticed if that if if I don't look at that, but that's funny. Yeah, traffic in town is wild, especially when they where they if you're passing where the cars are lined up. 
and you're trying to get through and something wide it is it is it can get it can get hairy sometimes that's for sure hey morning Lucas or afternoon Lucas happy to see you here thank you thanks for stopping by All right, now we gotta go get a big old front loader. Oh, whoa. forgot we had uh, super speed on. Monty, hey Sim and Chat, some big time Canadian farming. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just for you, Monty, our our resident Canadian. That's not actually not actually Canadian. <laughs> it's a joke because I always thought, or I kept thinking that Monty was Canadian for the longest time. Hey, Rev, what's up, buddy? Good to see ya. How's lambing going? Y'all y'all set with lambing, or is it still still going on? Got the long shifts still. Two phone calls. He called me twice. Uh oh, Rev's got a new video? Oh boy. I'm so excited. I'll be firing that puppy up right after the stream. You best believe it. I think this is a 5,000 liter bucket. Probably going to need to move the tractor a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Northern... Northern New York is pretty much Canada, right? Says the guy in Michigan that's literally right next to Canada. <laughs> I don't remember who whose stream it was. It was talking about like what is Midwest? Like what's categorized as Midwest, right? And he said he doesn't think Michigan is Midwest. Nice. Even though, like, we, I definitely consider Mi Michigan as a Midwest state. I just said, we'll just be honorary Canadians. Instead of Midwesterners. Halfway through. It's a long season, Rev. Quick one you recorded yesterday, not much action going on with Yeah. You gotta do it, you know. So this is custom lime texture that I added. I th well, actually, 
I think. And we're not even going to make it down here. We're like not even going to make it down one pass. This is going to be wild. I think actually he added some custom textures as well in the update. So I don't know if this is his or mine. Because I just added these lime textures to my whole game. So every map I'm on has these textures. So I think it's probably the ones I added. I don't know. We might have to actually uh, lower the application rate so we can make this actually doable for ourselves. Except for Detroit. <laughs> What's Detroit then, Edward? Curious to know. Sounds like the debate over where the north slash south divide is. Yep. I'm sure everybody has their uh, their opinions on that kind of stuff. I don't know. We're just zooming with this. 25 mile an hour? Holy crud. Don't feel like that's very uh, realistic, but I'll take it on these maps or on these fields. Two hours south south. See, I'm like two hours west of Canada. I could get to Canada in, yeah, probably about two, two and a half hours. It's massive, Lucas. I mean, it's almost the size. Of, it's like a quarter of a standard size map. It's nuts. I'm kind of, I feel like I'm like kind of insane for trying to actually farm these fields by myself. I feel like multiplayer would be fine, but... I also feel like I need a lot more equipment if I'm actually going to do this. So we're going to lower the application rate so we can actually make it down and back. So we're gonna have to cut the application rate by like 50%, which obviously is gonna decrease our yields, but I don't know, I think it's gonna be worth it. I think it'll be worth it. We'll just have to stay on top of lime, do some more lime in, in the coming years. <laughs> yeah, Wisconsin with your uh with your windy fields. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that map by uh, Smebby. I'm, I've been wanting to do spuds and sugar beet and stuff for a long time. I just have never found a map that I really wanted to do it on. And I think it sounds like that map is going to be perfect for it. Perfect. Very excited. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, Monty. I'm thinking that maybe I'm gonna throw this onto a server and maybe we can have some fun with it. But I was gonna do that can farm map, but I don't know. I just didn't. I, I don't know. I liked it at first, but then I was just struggling. I wasn't vibing with it as much as I thought. So maybe, maybe if we wanted to have a little fun doing multiplayer on this, that'd be, that'd be fun. <laughs> oh, I'm not making fun. I'm just... I'm just saying. That I don't see that. We don't have those at all where I am. Uh, the, uh... Strip fields and stuff. No. We got big old fields. We're kind of like Ohio, where we farm all the way up to the... Ditch, and even in the ditch sometimes. All the way up to the road. Not as square. A lot more trees than Ohio. But similar ish. I 
Hey, Dennis, good to see ya. All is fantastic, man. Hope all is well with you. Oh, I know it, Edward. Yeah, amen to that. Good. Yeah. We had all sorts of things getting stuck last year with it being so wet. A lot of semis getting stuck. Combine. Pulling them out. You guys ever pull stuff out with your combines? Anybody that's farmed it in real life? That's how we always pull them out. Because they have most horsepower and stuff. Obviously, you're not going to unhook the... You're not going to unhook the grain cart. To do it, so combine makes the most sense. Alright, deactivate occupation rate. We're going to uh, go... Lower... Why is it not showing me what we're actually going to be applying here? I guess we probably should have tried to fill it up all the way. So, where is it telling me application rate? It's going to be a little bit of experimenting, I think. We're going to try this. We're going to try it at this. For now, I just wish that I could see how much we're actually applying. We'll give this a go. See if we can make it up and down. That's pretty cool, Lucas. Big old fields, northern Wisconsin. Nice. Northern Wisco. Grandpa got stuck on the side of the pond. Big front loader he had. He pulled him out with his Kubota. <laughs> Wait a second. He actually that that actually worked, huh? Emergency guy. Howdy, howdy. Happy Tuesday. Good to see ya. What a day it's been so far. I think we might be spot on with our application here, with our rate that we're putting down. It may not get us the best yields, but with how much crop we're going to be harvesting, I think it's going to be okay. I love that you can change the screen in this. Isn't that cool? Carl Farms does some fantastic work as well. Fantastic. Big old wheel loader. Nice. Seems like that would be a pretty, uh, 
pretty good option. Oh. Somebody maybe had a bit too much, too much, to, too much pops, cold pops here this morning before spreading. Can't keep her straight. <laughs> Three tractors, that would have been funny to see. Farmer Trio, what's up? Happy Tuesday. I'm on a six day streak of working out right now and I feel fantastic. I'm so happy. So happy I'm getting back into working out, man. Oh man. I love it. I had a video pop up from seven years ago on you uh, on Facebook the other day. First time I ever dunked. Dunked a basketball. Pretty cool. Need to get back to that. Need to get back in a shape like that. That was cool. I like the stubble destruction. I didn't know we had a stubble destruction canola on, on canola uh, texture thing. Yeah, it's awesome, Edward. Yeah, Monty, I figured I figured you'd enjoy hearing that, buddy. <laughs> My buddy, that's also a personal trainer, is uh, that's the one who's actually just was calling me. I was I was calling him to talk on the way home from uh, my meeting this morning. He's been hounding me to get uh, up to the gym and start lifting with me or lifting with him again. So. Next step, going back and lifting some, picking up some heavy stuff, putting it down, you know. Thought white men couldn't jump. Yeah, they can't. I still can't jump. I'm 6'6", six, six, but I'm not a skinny 6'6". Six, six. Let's just say that. My high school playing weight was 6'6", six, six, 290, so... Offensive tackle. Don't we all remember when you... <laughs> 40 things start going... I got 10 years still, Graham. I got 10 years for that. Feels like things are starting to go downhill at 30 already, my man. Thank yourself, trust me. Weightlifting saved my life as a type of diabetic. Helps with stress. Oh, yeah, man. It just, like, yeah. I was huge into lifting. Uh, like, in high school and out of high school. And then I just kind of stopped. I just let myself, I let myself quit. 
I regret that. I definitely, definitely with you there, Monty. Hey, Heath. Four years past 40. You're still young. You're still a young guy. You, you Graham and Graham and Doug, you guys got a lot of life left in you. Yeah, no, I'm a pretty big fella there, Edward. Down here five nine. <laughs> At the moment, I like it. I like it. You're giving yourself room to grow. Yeah, the kids, the kids is what'll knock you off, Lucas. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. That's why I really like this Peloton we got. I hate running, so like I don't want to have a treadmill. You know, absolutely hate I hate running. Always have, always will. But yeah, like just working out, just riding the bike, doing a class for like 30 minutes. It's actually been really, really great. It's very convenient. While Sim Station is out in the field, I got stuck inside cleaning soybeans. Oof. That's too bad to hear, Booker. I like your name, by the way. I like that name a lot. Booker. But I like that <laughs> This guy. Doug, he's a funny one. Yeah, you do. You do, Edward. You do. Especially if you got those jeans. Hey, Steve. What's up, buddy? Good to see you here. Should be in the old folks' home. Ow. You don't mean that. Age is just a number. It's just a number. Yeah, that's tough, Lucas. I definitely get that. Would love to have a gym someday. Our house is just so small. This is our, like, ho first home, right? The first home we ever bought. So. It's small. But we make her work. I'm doing good, Steve. Yeah, we're having a good, uh, having a good day. Hey, we'll see you, Booker. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, it was Edward. Oh, you're responding to Heath. Yeah. Yeah, the Mato guy that did the edit, uh, turns out he pretty much leaked all of BSL's mods onto, like, King Mods and Mod Network, unfortunately. You doing well? Steve? Still grinding? Still grinding the streams I see? It's good. Why I decided to shut the spreader off this time? I don't know. Don't ask me. Check in Discord real quick. Apologies. At a noty. <laughs> I 
That's what it's all about, Steve. The grind. It's all about the grind, my man. Something I'm not doing good at right now. My channel growth has come to a massive standstill. <laughs> uh, no, it was by Mado. His name was Mado. And I'm not 100% sure that he was the one, but that's what I've heard that he is. So you can't believe everything you hear, one. But I, it was from some very solid sources that that's who it was. So I just wasn't going to take the chances. And they just said, well, we'll just not play that map anymore. PVF was in here. He is a busy guy right now. I'm not going to say why because it's his personal life and he hasn't obviously hasn't shared with uh, all you guys. So, but yeah, he's busy. He's busy right now. So, with some very important things. Hey, Bryson. Going good, man. Just playing some Canadia farming, you know? Just being a Canadian right now. Spreading some lime on some big old fields. Doing our best to do it authentically as well. Hey, we'll see you, Monty. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Always good to see you. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. Are they Fender Massey? They're John Deere. <laughs> Keith. <laughs> Oh yeah, did he send them to you, Caleb? The ones that are they the ones that are public or different or the or the ones he has uh, that he hasn't released yet? Yep, that's uh, unfortunately that's the harsh reality of a lot of home gym equipment. Graham. <laughs> I think a lot of us know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, I got you, Caleb. Yeah, they're pretty good, aren't they? He does, he does a good job. We're really uh, doing a number to this uh, fence fence line there. Jeez, it's all it's all going downhill, boys and girls. Hey, we'll see you, Lucas. Thanks for chatting. Appreciate it. You have a great rest of your week. And hopefully we can catch you in the next one, man. Been good at a checkup on the back surgery today. The doctor told me I was... A Nature to have healed more than anyone. Hey, let's go, Bryson. That's something to celebrate, huh? 
Congrats. That's awesome. This is very cool. Very, very cool. Got a cycling machine someone was throwing out years ago. Yeah, they probably will have some more assistance. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> You're just letting it season, you know? You're just letting the bike season a little bit till you till you get on it. Yeah. Yeah, Fender, I can relate. But with my wife being in my wife being in neurosurgery, they do a lot of uh spine and neck surgeries and stuff. There's a lot of people that uh, do not recover well, unfortunately. And my wife was in PM and R as well before she was in neuro. So that was all rehab, and yeah, it was it was tough sometimes for her to see these people not getting better. A lot of paraplegics and quadriplegics, and ugh, that's tough. Very tough. Permanently on the yep. You just you just lighten it. You just you just do in hard mode, man. Nothing wrong with that. Burn a few extra calories, Rev. Right. Oh yeah, you bet you I keep up with the MLB, Caleb. Angel Hernandez is atrocious. Angel Hernandez... I don't know. I feel like he's actually a good ump, but he's one of those guys you just love to hate, you know? I feel like he's made some big calls that have been very, uh... poor, but overall he's been a good... Um, I don't know. It's one of those things. Yeah, my Tigers are on today. It's spring training. I have to make sure I watch them. Our top pitching prospect is on the is on the mound pitching today. Staying in bed sucks, but I'm on the younger side, so I get yeah, that's good. That's positive, Bryson. Very positive. Yeah, it's on OS mods and edits. Facebook page, go to their play game button, Braden. Click there and you'll find it. It's on, it's a Underfirth Pro Force 2, 2250. Yeah, that's the, that's the goal, right? Keep them out of the operating room. It's a goal. Do everything you can before actually cracking into somebody's body. Hey, we'll see you, Heath. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one, my man. Later, later. Yeah, they just picked up Brandon Crawford, too. I needed a bench uh, a bench bat on one of my fantasy teams, so I picked up Brandon Crawford. You might be thinking, why would you pick up Brandon Crawford? There's probably a lot more, but I'm in two 30-team fantasy baseball leagues, so the bench is thin sometimes. So you gotta you gotta be able to play. Uh, a lot of us have backups as our bench players. That plane is quite loud. They have the they have the ability to have a good season. 
as well, Caleb. I think it was just an off year for them. They have a really good squad. Tough to see them actually have another bad year when you have Goldschmidt and Aaron Otto in your lineup. Tyler O'Neill, he's no slouch either. Yeah, it was really loud. <laughs> but that's what you expect, right, from a plane flying overhead. Probably be pretty loud. Hashtag realism. Hashtag. <laughs> no, no, I heard. Hey, if you're still here, hit that like button, eh? If you're here and you have it, feel free. I'd love to see. I love that we're consistently getting over 100 likes on our videos every week. That's incredible. Much appreciated. Everybody that does like the videos, you guys are the bee's knees. Yeah, isn't that wild how that happens? It's like, yeah, it, it sucks. It sucks when that happens. When you see guys get traded and they turn out to just be studs, yeah, it sucks. Like, we had Isak Paredes. Tigers did. We ended up trading him to the Rays, and he turns out to be some sweet hitter. Like, what the heck? He was garbage with the Tigers. But sometimes the change of scenery is just what you needed. So I'm actually, I got to actually hit the road a little bit earlier than I thought, unfortunately. So, yeah, I thought I would be able to go at least another half hour, but according to my phone alert, I am not. So uh, I need to uh, get going, guys. Apologies for the short stream. Probably be the only one this week. I am going to try and do an evening stream on Friday night. Uh, depending on if PVF is going to stream, I really doubt he's going to be streaming. But, uh, yeah, I think I already just saved. But. Tiger still have hobby? Yes, unfortunately. He hasn't even registered a hit this spring. So that's what we're dealing with. $180 million contract for a guy that can't hit, Caleb. It's terrible. We'll see you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you guys. Sorry that we didn't actually do anything interesting at all. Not even planting or anything, but we'll get there. We'll get there. So we'll catch you later.